we've got eyes on 1170. He's uh, heading south along the utility vehicle route. What exactly do we do here? Um, okay, give us a sec. We're gonna try to cut him off at the crossing up ahead. Keep him from getting onto public roads. Keep tailing him for now, and keep us updated.
subject is 59-year-old Thomas Clark, a full-time employee at Playtime Co. since 1955. Six months ago, he was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. Now, Mr. Clark of Sound Mind has volunteered for this experiment. We have eye movement. Can you hear us, Thomas? 1199 displayed much more disorientation than we expected. Subsequent mental testing metrics were also cut practically in half. It's just conjecture on my part, but I don't believe he knows where he is or what's happened to him. To make matters worse, the other experiments could tell 1199 was different. They would have killed him had the research team not intervened, and even then, there was still significant damage to the internal structures with some of the anatomy, namely the larynx and the thyroid, having been completely devoured. It took 12 hours of surgery to stabilize 1199. We keep him separated from the others now. Hello, you must be our new employee. Well, gee, welcome, come on in. I bet you're super excited to start having fun, making fun for kids around the world. <laughs> whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going there, buddy? <laughs> Look, I know it's exciting, but before we can get you out there on the factory floor, we've got to talk about safety, huh? That's right, because my pal Huggy says that fun is just one part of fundamentally understanding the need for awareness, cleanliness, timeliness, obedience, and regulating yourselves. So, come on, let's get started. Rule number one. Always be sure to wash your hands before you enter the factory floor. Grubby hands mean grubby toys. And at Playtime Co, we like our toys nice and clean. Huggy gets it. Now, rule number two. Everybody's excited to get home after a hard day's fun, but you must never leave your station for any reason before the bell rings. Not without permission from a supervisor. And there will be no overtime. <sighs> rule number three. Fun takes focus. No distractions. When on the factory floor, please try to remain as quiet as possible. Superfluous auditory impositions on the environment may result in disciplinary action. <sighs> Rule number four. Secrets. I know you'll all want to go and tell all of your friends about the exciting goings on here at Playtime Co. But you know what's even more exciting? Why the NDA rules laid out in section 3, page 42 of your Playtime Co. employee handbook, of course. The breach of which may result in termination. Whoa there, Huggy. <laughs> Not that kind of termination. <laughs> Rule number five. You must report anybody you see not following these rules to your supervisor. That includes this rule. Anyone observed to not be reporting rule breaking they are currently observing has been observed to be breaking a rule and should be reported immediately. Quickly, before somebody reports you. Rule number six. Smile, you're on camera. For your safety, we keep a watchful eye on everybody here at Playtime Co. Any attempt to interfere with Playtime Co surveillance equipment will result in immediate termination. And speaking of Playtime Co equipment, how about those grab packs, eh? Rule number seven. Our handy helpers may seem fun, but not everything in a toy factory is a toy. 
Always be sure to exercise caution when operating your grab pack around heavy machinery, or else you might end up in a tangle. Ugh. Serious injury, death, or dismemberment may occur. If you're experiencing hallucinations or symptoms of schizophrenia, you must report to your on-duty playtime physician right away. Reports of noxious and or hazardous materials used in the production of our toys are both entirely fabricated and highly exaggerated. So if you're feeling under the weather, try drinking some water or breathing less deeply. Employers are liable for the safety of themselves and those around them. Plato Co. will not be held accountable for accidents, injuries, trauma, physical or mental, or resulting life-altering impairments up to and including death. Rule number nine. Employees are explicitly prohibited from entering restricted areas. Authorization is given on a case-by-case -case basis, and employees enter at their own risk. No ifs, ands, or buts. Rule number 10. Don't forget to have fun! Working together to bring joy to children around the world here at Playtime Co. is a privilege. We just know that if you follow these 10 simple rules, you'll be a great addition to the Playtime family. We all start here, on the factory floor, but we can't wait to see what you become. Good luck on your first day. It's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from Huggy. Goodbye.